Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, is growing at a fast pace, flooded by rural migrants seeking a better life. The population, now 6.2 million, is projected to reach 10 million by 2020, twice what it was in 1999. Ho Thi Tang Na and Nguyen Xuan Tang from central Vietnam typify the sacrifices young migrants make when they come here. Both work long hours at a shoe factory, so their twin daughters live with his parents back in the home village. I last saw the children in September. I will see them again when we go home for the Tet holiday. The Sunflower Shoe Factory is a magnet for migrants. 2,500 workers make ladies' shoes for export to Europe and North America. Most earn around 20 cents an hour. Some spend half their pay on rent. Six young workers share a one-room flat. One came from a village in the Mekong Delta. My hometown is very poor, and I am one of eight children. Talking about home is painful for her roommate from the Central Highlands. My mother died last year. I miss her. I would love to go home, but it's impossible. My family is too poor to think about my future. A new report by UNFPA, the United Nations Population Fund, looks at what's in store for the world's fast-growing cities. Governments must act now, it warns, so the next generation can have adequate jobs, services, land, and housing. Ho Chi Minh City is trying to do that. Planning official Vo Si says the city intends to convert 100,000 hectares of farmland to low-cost housing by 2020. Plans have to focus on the future needs of the poor, the UNFPA report stresses. People like Dong TQ, who sells cigarettes in a shanty town. Living in the city is not as hard as it was in the village. I make enough to send my sons to school. I hope life will be better for them here. Cities can offer better prospects for millions of people, but far-sighted planning is required to realize that dream. This is William A. Ryan reporting for UNFPA.